Leprosy is an infectious disease which has been present in Florida for many years. It is thought to be on the rise in the state due to an increased number of diagnosed cases. The primary cause of the rise of leprosy in Florida is thought to be due to the spread of the bacterium, Mycobacterium leprae, through contact with an infected person. The symptoms of leprosy are slowly progressive and can include skin rashes, disfigurement, nerve damage, and deformities. The increase of leprosy cases in Florida has been linked to the growing population of homeless persons living in the state. Exposure to poor and overcrowded living conditions can put individuals at a heightened risk of contracting the disease. In order to prevent further spreading of leprosy in Florida, doctors, public health professionals, and lawmakers must collaborate to address the underlying social problems that are contributing to this rise. Education and outreach programs around the importance of proper hygiene and infection prevention are vital to elimination of leprosy. Health agencies and clinics need to be better informed about the early signs and symptoms of leprosy in order to provide early diagnosis and effective treatments. Doctors and nurses should also strive to provide compassionate care to those affected by leprosy. Affected persons should be offered help and support to help them cope with the physical and emotional burden that comes with the condition. Regular screenings in high-risk communities can help detect the disease early and prevent its spread. Improved sanitation and better access to health care facilities can enable persons to treat the condition early and effectively. The Florida Department of Health has developed a number of policies and strategies in order to address the issue of leprosy on the rise in the state. One such policy is the establishment of a leprosy resource center at the University of Miami for training of health professionals. The center will also provide public health services to those diagnosed with leprosy and their families. The Florida State Legislature has passed a number of laws to provide benefits to affected persons, such as access to free medications, treatments, and other health care services. The state has also created a leprosy volunteer network in order to create awareness and increase access to appropriate health care services. The network also educates the public on leprosy prevention, early diagnosis, and treatment. Private and public funding has been allocated in order to continue the fight against leprosy. To date, numerous organizations have joined forces to support research and advocacy initiatives for those affected by leprosy in the state. Various health initiatives have been put in place to raise awareness about the stigma associated with leprosy and to promote the understanding that it can be treated. Economic incentives have been put in place for those affected by leprosy in order to alleviate the financial burdens associated with managing the condition. Various medications have been identified to help reduce the spread of leprosy, including the use of antibiotics. The state of Florida has also enacted laws to protect the civil rights of persons affected by the disease. 
Public health campaigns have been set up to warn individuals about the dangers of leprosy and inform them on how to prevent their exposure to the disease.